So here is my breakfast for today. I did my hash brown avocado toast. This is one of my all-time favorite things in the entire world. You saw me weigh out my avocado. It's 41 grams. And then this is what I'm storing my avocado in. I shared this in my favorites for the month of September. This thing is amazing, super inexpensive off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. You can store anything in here and this lid flexes so you could put a bigger item in there like half of an onion or some type of apple or fruit and then I just like to store my avocado so I just throw this in the fridge. So it is four points for my Trader Joe's hash brown, zero for my egg. I'm not sure on the points of the avocado. It'll be here on the screen for you. Zero for the blueberries. So that is my breakfast. Points, calories are here on the screen. I can't wait to dig in. Good morning today. and welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. I just finished my breakfast. I'm working on my first cup of water out of my gallon and I thought I would hop on, say hello, welcome you to today's video and kind of give you a rundown of what we're going to be doing today. So here shortly, we are going to be starting on dinner. I am making a crock pot recipe. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's gonna be so good. I have lots of good meals today to share with you. Of course, the dogs. We have a couple of unboxings to do, hauls to share with you guys. It's gonna be a good day. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a big huge thumbs up. It really helps me out and it's free. It only takes a second. And of course I really appreciate it. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, click the bell next to it. So you never miss a single video. I do a what I eat in a day every single Wednesday. Oh, I forgot to point out, I am all decked out for Halloween. So I have my cute little witch Halloween shirt and I even put on my cute little ghost Halloween earrings. I love Halloween. My house is decorated for Halloween. I am going to wear my Halloween shirts for the rest of the month. This one I actually bought at Walmart a couple of years ago for like five or six dollars. I like this one because it's long. So I appreciate a long shirt rather than a cropped top. I'm too old for a crop top. So I'm just living my best life in my Halloween attire and in the Halloween spirit. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for all three recipe eBooks. I released dinner last week. It's been a huge hit. Like I said in the video, it's one of my favorite eBooks so far. I also have breakfast and lunch. All three contain 15 recipes with all WW plan points included as well as calories. I will be releasing the fourth and final eBook here shortly. So make sure you grab these three while they're available. Also, you'll find links, discounts to everything I share with you in today's video, as well as all of my favorite things. And of course, head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into the rest of today's what I eat in a day. For dinner tonight, we are having slow cooker chicken pot pie. This sounds so good, such good comfort food. We're going to get this started. It's about 9 a.m. I'm going to cook mine on low for eight hours. You can also cook it on high for four hours if you have a little less time throughout the day to get your dinner cooked. But let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need chicken broth or chicken bouillon. I don't have bouillon on hand, so I'm just going to use chicken broth. Thyme, parsley. This was a substitution if you saw my grocery haul. They were out of mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables. So they substituted for the gold and white corn, carrots, asparagus. So this is going in in place of mixed vegetables. It really doesn't matter. We're just gonna put some veggies in. A can of biscuits, light butter, chicken breast. I have two pretty large chicken breasts here. Salt and pepper, all purpose flour and whole milk. So the first thing that I did is lined my crock pot with a crock pot liner. I just like this, it makes cleanup so easy. Now I'm going to take my two chicken breasts and place them in the bottom of my crock pot. You can add in your two chicken bouillon cubes and a cup of water, or you can add one cup of chicken stock. We're going to add in some salt and pepper. The recipe calls for half of a bag of the vegetables. I'm going to add the whole bag just so we get in a little bit of extra veggies. We're going to pop the lid on this and we're going to cook this on low for eight hours or on high for four hours. Palmer, are you supposed to bring sticks in the house? Palmer Clayton, excuse me. 
Don't side eye me. Your stick is an outside toy. Why you do this to your mom? And then you, you was a good girl. See, I don't bring sticks in the house, mama. No, I don't. I love you. I'm back, still sipping on my water, and I wanted to share with you guys a couple of hauls. First is my Wicked Bayou candle subscription, and I ordered from Lakanto. They have some new products and some new sizes of products that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's do Lakanto first, because there's less in this haul. So the first thing I ordered, which I've never bought before, this is the Monk Fruit Baking Sweetener, and it says bakes and browns like sugar. It's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. It has zero calories, and it says that it's made with urethra. So this is a very like powdery blend. It feels a lot like powdered sugar. So I'm excited to try this so that I can see if it bakes different than granulated. Sometimes I don't always want a granulated sugar in a baked good. We can leave all the chunks of sugar in the recipe. So this is a one pound bag. And again, this is new to me. I will link Lakanto's website down below. I do have 15% off for you. They so graciously gave me a link for 15% off. So I'll link that down below. And and they now have, or maybe they've had for a while and I didn't know, but the big, huge three pound bags of sweetener. So if you have a Costco membership, you may have remembered seeing the actual granulated big three pound bags at Costco. Actually, I think they were two pound bags at Costco. Nonetheless, they don't have those anymore. I asked at my local Costco, they said it's not a product that they're going to be carrying. So while I was on Lakanto and while I had 15% off, I bought the big bag of the golden, which is the brown sugar substitute. I really like this one and it's affordable. It's more affordable to buy it in the bigger bag and the bags are all resealable to keep it fresh. And then lastly, I picked up not one, but two of the big three pound bags of just their traditional granulated sweetener. This one is my very favorite. It doesn't have that weird cooling effect that some of those artificial sugars can have like swerve. I really like this one. I find that it tastes just like regular sugar. It is also a one to one ratio. So I think your two big three pound bags would last me a while. And again, it was much more affordable to buy the bigger bag. So again, I'll link Lakanto down below for you with that 15% off discount. And now let's open up my Wicked Bayou subscription box for the month of October. So this is a small business. This is a candle subscription. Generally, you can receive things like eight it eight ounce candles in the little tins, which I have loved every candle that I've received from them. Wax melts, I love their car air fresheners. I'm really hoping that there's a car air freshener in here. But here is how it comes. Here's the little card that tells us what's in the box. It's so cute, look at the card. So here's the theme. It looks like a Halloween theme. And I'm not going to peek on the back because I wanna be surprised when I pull out the products. But here is a sneak peek at what's in the box. And the first thing I see on top, which makes me really, really excited, this is so cute. This is the Witches of Salem from Hocus Pocus. This is the car air freshener. Let's read a little bit about it. So again, everything that's in the box is on the back. And it says, notes of vanilla and spiced cranberry with hints of citrus and cinnamon. Okay. I'm really excited. Whenever I open up my Wicked Bayou box, I immediately go put the air freshener in my car. So the next time I get in my car, it just smells so good in there. Wow. Oh my God, that smells so incredibly delicious. This is so cute. It smells like Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas all rolled into one. Wow, it is very heavily scented, which is amazing. And one thing about these car air fresheners is they will last, the scent will last in my car up until I receive the next month's box and even after that. So I can't wait. I'm actually gonna go put this in my car as soon as I'm done unboxing this. Look how cute the little orange, little papery stuff is. This is so, so cute. And all their packaging is Halloween themed, of course. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is wax melt in the scent of Sea Witch. So this says notes of woodsy fresh with hints of floral. Now I love their wax melts. I do have to say how fun that it's black for Halloween. And there is like a little bit of glitter. Ooh, that smells delicious. I smell floral, but then it has a smoky smell. If that makes sense, like a campfire smoky smell. That smells really, really good. I use these, you guys know that I have the little wax burners all over my house. They're, that's what that light is there in the back is a little wax burner. And there's 
The scent throw is fantastic and I just put one little cube in every week and my house smells amazing. This smells really good. Looks like we received a second pack of wax melts. This is in the scent Mistress of Evil and it says notes of crisp pine. Okay, pine is my favorite scent. It's Troy and my favorite scent. I buy a lot of the fresh balsam candles so I can have pine scent in my house all year. I love it. With white fur and hints of pomegranate. Okay, I'm really excited for this. Again, you can see black with some glitter. Oh, wow. That is so good. So this smells like the fresh balsam candle, but I also can smell like that fur that's in here. And then it has that back end sweet note of the pomegranate. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to savor this one. And lastly, we have our cute little eight ounce candle. And this scent is the evil queen. And this is notes of fresh apples and mulberry with hints of peach and pineapple. Ooh, I'm excited. And it's black. They're theming for this box million out of 10. And this smells incredible. I smell apple, I smell peach. It smells very fresh and fruity, but kind of dark, like Halloween vibes too. So, so, so good. So let's recap quickly what I received in my Wicked Bayou for the month of October. I have the Evil Queen Candle, the Sea Witch Wax Melt, the Mistress of Evil Wax Melt, and this incredible smelling car air freshener. So again, that is my October box. I will go ahead and link the subscription down in the description box for you. This is not sponsored. They do send me this box every month for review. Even if they never sent me this box, I would subscribe. In fact, I did subscribe up until I was put on their PR list. I love, love this subscription box. So again, it is linked down below along with Lakanto. I'm gonna have my morning snack. I am getting a little bit hungry. It's 9.45 a.m. I ate breakfast a little after seven. So no surprise to anyone, I'm having kombucha. This is the Health Aid Kombucha in Pomegranate. This one's actually 80 calories where most of the other ones are 50 to 60. WW counts, this is three points. I always count kombucha as one point. The 10 or 20 calories doesn't make much difference to me. So I'm going to have my kombucha. And then I'm in the spirit with the Halloween shirt and the pumpkin vibes. So I'm going to have one of my Verb Energy bars and pumpkin spice latte. These are so good. They're a limited edition flavor. It's pumpkin-y and it's coffee all in one. It's the perfect combination. I love these as just a quick snack, a pick-me-up. I love these as pre-workout. If I work out at eight in the morning, I don't eat breakfast first, so I'll have a quick verb bar on my way to jazzercise, and it just gives me that little bit of energy. Each one of these bars has 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same amount of caffeine that's in a shot of espresso, but it's from green tea, so it's all natural, so you don't get that crash after your caffeine caffeine and they're so so good they're 90 calories three points a piece they have good ingredients so this is the size of the bar they're the perfect snack for three points it smells like maple donuts mm. delicious they're so soft and chewy and literally just the perfect snack so these are three points i will link verb down below you can get a sample pack which is this here it's 12 bars you pick the flavor for 52 percent off which makes it an incredible deal like ten dollars for 12 bars and then verb always throws in four or five additional bars for free of different flavors so you can try some of the different flavors out none of them disappoint they're all so so good. So I'm enjoying my pumpkin spice. I'll make sure verb is linked down below. So three points for my bar, one point for my kombucha is a four smart point snack. Lunch today is quick and simple. I'm having a little bit later lunch and I have two coaching calls this afternoon. So I'm making my life easy. I'm having my Amy's burrito. This is the cheddar cheese. This has nice clean ingredients and it's so, so good. It is a little bit higher in points. It is not high in calories though. It's only 280 calories for the burrito. And like I said, it has nice clean ingredients. I love these. I love to have a couple on hand. I'm going to be trying for the first time the Good Culture Strawberry Chia Cottage Cheese. And it looks really good. I can see the strawberry and the chia seeds. So that is going to be today's lunch. Quick update before I hop on my coaching call. The burrito, 10 out of 10, but that cottage cheese, that strawberry chia cottage cheese was so, so 
good. There were just enough chia seeds in there. They were a little bit gelatinous, so they were easy to eat, and it had the perfect amount of strawberries and sweetness. It was really good. Highly, highly recommend. I don't know if Good Culture makes any other flavors, but I will absolutely buy that again. And now it's got me thinking about adding chia seeds and fruit to cottage cheese. Why couldn't you just mix that in and keep it in your refrigerator? So my mind's thinking on that, but I wanted to give you an update and let you know that it was incredibly delicious. The whole lunch was incredibly delicious. I want to share with you guys a, a product that one of my lovely subscribers sent over to me from her independent small business called Bolton Grande. Now, if you remember a long, long time ago, she sent me over some really pretty jewelry that I still wear to this day that I really like, but she reached out and asked if she could send me a new product to their store that is one of their top sellers. That is perfect as we move in to the holiday season. She told me what it was and I jumped at the chance because one of my very favorite things to make for get togethers, parties, sometimes just for a snack, or a lunch for Troy and I is a good old charcuterie board. And I didn't have a way to make a charcuterie board, the actual board. So she offered to send me over her charcuterie board set. It came so nicely packaged. It would make an absolutely stunning gift. It is a nice wood board with a handle. Also comes with all the tools that you need to add to the charcuterie board to pick up the meats, cheeses, sauces. So I was really excited when she offered to send it my way. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like out of the package. I mean, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous wood board. It has a really nice finish on it so that it's easy to clean, sustainable, and it's hypoallergenic. You're not going to have any of the goodness soak into the wood because it is stained. It's absolutely stunning. It has a hanger at the top here if you want to hang it up for storage. And then the little tool set comes with the four tools that you need. So you have a couple of different knives for meats and cheeses. You have this knife as well. You have the pick here to pick up the items off of the board and then a mini spatula. And again, it's so pretty and so incredibly perfect for the holidays. We are actually having our friends over on October 29th for a little Halloween get together. And I can't wait to use this for that get together. I'm going to just store my tools in the package because it's one of those nice, easy, resealable packages that you just like pop down and fold over. So you can store your tools in there and then store that together with your board. I love it. It's prettier than I thought it was going to be. She so graciously offered you guys a 20% discount from her online shop. And again, this is one of her best sellers. So if you're interested, make sure you head on over and grab it while it's in stock so that it doesn't go out of stock prior to the holidays. It's super affordable and I mean it is absolutely stunning. Everything about this set is perfection so I will have it linked down below with 20% off. Here is my afternoon snack, quick and simple, before I hop on my Zoom call. So I just sliced up an apple that I've had in my fridge for probably way, way, way too long. And then I drizzled over the top of that two tablespoons of this Wild Friends chocolate pumpkin peanut butter. So, so good. I actually bought this last year. It's almost gone, so I'm trying to eat it up before the end of November when it expires. But this is such a perfect snack. You have carbohydrates in the apples. You have healthy fats and protein in the peanut butter. So this is my afternoon snack. Our crock pot is just about done. We need to make the slurry to add to this. I am going to shred the chicken as well. We have about 20 more minutes before it's done, so let's make up the slurry. I went ahead and shredded up the chicken really quickly in the crock pot with a couple of forks. I have four tablespoons of light butter here in my saucepan. I'm going to melt this down completely. Once your butter is melted, we're going to add in four tablespoons of flour as well. Whisk that together until mixed. Then we're going to add in one cup of whole milk. 
Make sure you use whole milk. Again, stir that together. Most of the chunks are gone. We're going to bring this to a boil and allow it to thicken. We are nice and thick for that slurry. Now we're going to add this directly to the crock pot. We're going to mix that in with the shredded chicken and the vegetables. And then on low heat, we're going to allow this to cook for another 20 to 30 minutes. That way it will continue to thicken and all of those flavors will really start to meld together. We are going to cook up those canned biscuits as well to serve on the side. Probably in about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, we'll let this cook before we do the biscuits. So here are the biscuits. There's 10 biscuits per can. I am going to go ahead and cook both cans just so we have some leftover biscuits. I know Troy will eat quite a few with dinner and then there'll be some left over. So this is the size of the biscuits. They're really, really easy to cook. Just pop them on to a, a baking sheet. They cook in about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll get the oven warmed up and get these into the oven while the crock pot finishes the last little bit on our chicken pot pie. What's going on? Is your daddy home? Palmer, Diesel, is daddy home? Is he? So here is my dinner for tonight. I have one eighth, that entire crock pot makes eight servings. So I have one eighth of the slow cooker chicken pot pie and then one biscuit. Now the biscuit points are figured in to the overall points of the recipe. If you use these small biscuits like the one I used from Great Value. So eight servings is six points on blue and purple and eight points on green because you do have to count for the chicken. So my dinner biscuit included is six smart points. It smells incredible. It's comfort food. I'm excited. For dessert tonight, I am following my Halloween theme and I'm going to have one of my Yum Earth organic little packs of candy corn. I want to show you guys what they look like. So this is the size of the pack. There's actually quite a bit of candy corn in here and it's only 70 calories and three points. It has really good ingredients, no artificial colors, and I think it's better than traditional candy corn. They're really really delicious and I love that they're individual packets. So that is my dessert and my last meal for today. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my food that I shared with you today. That really, really comfort food, delicious, easy crock pot dinner recipe, a couple of hauls, lots of good things in today's video. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. It takes a second. Really appreciate your help and support with my channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and better yet, click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out the description box for all three recipe ebooks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things, nutrition coaching, and of course my Facebook group. Come and join us over there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy, happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in the next one.